So I'm looking forward to the next six months and you're telling me we've got potential food shortages, second wave of the virus, more bankruptcies, harder economic times, and then a vaccine they're probably gonna force down our throats and into our arms and more fear in our children, our older people and all of us. David, you gotta leave me with some hope here because that all looks dangerous, scary. Horrible. Well, yeah, um, you know, but I have been warning about it for the best part of 30 years and I, 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 I spent a long time being laughed at and ridiculed for it. Um, um, but I've kept going, uh, A, because um, you can't walk away from this once you realize what's going on. And B, I, am, I have been optimistic. And the reason I'm, I've been optimistic is that just the numbers game, the number of people that are driving this is tiny. I mean, it's ridiculous. At its core, you'd get it in a room. And there's nearly 8 billion people. You know, and I, and I have been going on and on about this year after year after year because you know, people say, you know, what are we going to do? Uh, well, you can look for a solution and, you know, where do solutions usually lead? They lead to more problems that need more solutions. You see it all the time. Now, what's the best way to remove a problem? To remove the freaking cause of it. You take away the cause of a problem, don't find a solution to it, take away the cause and the problem must cease to exist because its cause has been deleted. And I've, I've talked about the cause at length today. It's human acquiescence to authority. And authority takes many forms. It's government, it's the cult beyond the government, it's administrators, it's, um, uh, you know, um, security guards. But it's also the hierarchy of Black Lives Matter. It's also the hierarchy that's emerging already in this Chaz uh, autonomous zone in Seattle has been taken over and the police removed. Authority authority that tells you what to believe and what to do and wants to give you consequences for not believing it and doing it. You acquiesce to that and you're giving your freedom away. Acquiesce to that collectively, humanity gives its freedom away to a tiny few people. So, if what authority says is justified by the facts and by its impact upon uh, humanity, i.e. it's not taking freedoms away, it's, um, it's uh, seeking to enhance freedom, then okay, I'll go with that. Yeah, makes sense. Why? Because I, in my uniqueness, have decided that that makes sense to me, therefore I will do it, because I agree with you. You tell me what I'm going to do that's going to take my freedom away for no other reason than you're telling me to do it. Well, uh, you can stick that up your ass, mate. I ain't doing it. And, and if people just did that on a, on, a, on a large scale, then authority would have to serve the people and not the people serve authority because the people will not acquiesce to being dictated to in ways that enslave it. Therefore, you stop enslaving me, authority, or seeking to, and you start serving our interests of freedom and prosperity, and I will then make a deal with you. I'll accept what you say. But if you're trying to take my freedom away and you're trying to dictate to me, you're trying to t tell me to wear a mask when, when, when it's obviously a load of old crap and, and just about psychology and not about protection, well, you can stick that mask where, your sun don't, where the sun don't shine. You won't get a virus there then. And the people take the power back.
and they say, you serve us. We're no longer serving you. And they will not be able to function in that environment unless they serve the interests of the population, because unless they do, the population ain't having it. The few control the many, because the population freaking have it. Now, if we need a wake-up call on what happens when you give your power away to authority, then in the last few months, you couldn't have had a more potent and blatant one. And come on, we're bigger than this. We're infinite expressions of consciousness. What are we doing letting a handful of people dictate our lives down to the fine detail? What are we doing policing each other? Saying that because you're making choices I don't agree with, I'm going to try to stop you making those choices. Which is what the woke mentality is all about. You know, I've used this analogy before. People laugh at sheep. Because they follow the one in front and they follow the shepherd. Humans have out sheep the sheep. We, we've dispensed with a freaking sheepdog. We keep each other in line. We don't need a sheepdog. Look at the, what's happened during the lockdown. It's classic cases of it. Is that the police? They've been out in their garden twice today. What? This is how the few control the many. And it's in our hands, in our perceptions, to stop it happening. Okay. Um, give, us, um, give us some optimism. Okay. When we stop doing that, Game over. The question is, are enough people going to make that choice for the game to be over? Because the choice is there to be made. And that choice that is made, and it's in the next few weeks and months, the choice that is made there will decide if um, humanity heads into the darkest of fascist, tyrannical, technocratic nightmare, or whether at last, at last, we take back the freedom that's been sitting there waiting, generation after generation, era after era. Look at the whole entirety of human history. What is it a story of? It's a story of the masses giving their power away to a few people. What does that mean? A few people have run the world right their way through history. We have an opportunity now to stop that. Will we make that choice? The consequences of the choice we make are going to be monumental in the different world they'll create. And we need to make those choices now.